Good morning. It is 10.30 a.m. Saturday. It is 87 degrees today and it's supposed to be 104 so I started early and knocking off early. But I got both windows sanded out and uh, primed and I worked on the, all the nastiness on the, the nose of this trailer. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna get some uh, touch up Bondo and go around and touch up the real small stuff instead of mixing up all that extra stuff. But other than that, it looks great. Um, it's starting to get too warm to be out here playing. I got a few of the little emblems off, sanded those out and primed them. There's a few patches on the door and a little bit on the nose. Actually, I'm sanding it down now to where you can even see the, the layers of paint. It's that fine. So I don't know how close I'm going to get it. Around some of this drip edge, you can see there was some caulking on there. I still need to take that out and touch up around that. But I'm really close to starting putting some paint on this thing. We'll see what we get today. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll kick that den out and see what happens. I just don't feel like crawling in there right now, like in the dungeon. But there you go. One step closer to ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. This morning, I went through and uh, bondoed the fenders, both of them, and sanded them out. And then I went through and sanded everything with 320. So just to play around, put some paint on there so I think it looks good the wife thinks it looks good and that's what really matters and I guarantee you the kids aren't gonna care they just want to see the ice cream so the fenders were pretty beat up just little tiny dings and scratches I still have a few more on the front to touch up but we're getting our rubberized coating for the roof I think on Tuesday which is today Sunday so we will be doing that. I'm gonna pull that into the carport where our boat is and get that painted. So I wanna do that in the shade. But shoot, I'm happy. That ain't bad. Ice cream colors, boys and girls. Hip hip hooray. Good morning. Yesterday I did the driver's side, painted it, and uh, it was a little bit warm out and the paint was kind of ragging up. It was actually drying as I was spraying it because it was so warm, the metal was warm too. So my wife decided to read the spray can because we're doing this with rattle cans. And uh, it says optimum temperatures from 50 to 90 degrees. And it was right around 90, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. So this morning got out here and masked off the pink and got it all sprayed and demasked and let it set for about 45 minutes and I'm very antsy, want to get things done. And I started masking off for the blue. Well, it got all masked off and sprayed and turned out pretty good. And as I was demasking, the tape that I put on just a few areas of the paint kind of ragged it up a little bit. It, it took the, the sheen off of it, so I had to touch that up. But all in all, not too bad. But last night, I tried getting inside here where they, you keep your saddles and all your gear um, and tried to kick that out. Well, I'm six foot one and about 220 pounds and my knees were all the way up to my chest and I had no leverage. I couldn't do anything. I pushed and couldn't do anything. Well, this is eight inch steel, probably 16 gauge. And uh, this morning, the maintenance guys came by to borrow my car trailer to move some of their equipment around. They had some water leaks to get to. And one of the guys is about a buck 25. He's a little guy. And he got in there and wailed on that sucker and knocked probably 80% of it out. And we're happy with that. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, we got that done. We're just going to sand it out and paint it. But just so everybody knows, everything that I video that I work on is not how to. It's just how I do. And it's really for my... Uh, family and friends but anybody who wants to join in and watch I hope you enjoy but it is not the perfect way to do it it's just the way I do it so stay tuned for more I got the driver's side fender primed and painted this is what you call 10 feet away perfect so it 
looks pretty good. Don't get right up on it. That's kind of the color scheme. Not too chabby. I found the pink slip yesterday. It's a 1973, so it's in pretty good shape for 51 years old. Let it set up for a little while, and I'll demask and start another part. Fender number two, complete. That's awesome. Now I've got to do some musical vehicles to get this trailer in the carport and get ready for tomorrow to do the roof. Yeah, so far this morning I've gone through and drilled the holes for the speaker system, for the ice cream speaker system, and bondoed a hole on each one of these and primed it. I'll need to touch it up a little bit more, that bondo has sunken in. But got that taken care of, and then on the driver's side, I went and took these uh, running lights off, bonded those, and got them primered. I will need to touch those up a little bit. You can see this just, they, they sink in ever so slightly. But then I went through and uh, got a hole saw and drilled through this for our shore power. And this steel is good old American steel. And it was super hard. It actually wore the bit out. And I had to go through and drill holes all the way around it and just tortured that bit, but I got it out. So I'll need to file that and get it primed. Where we live, there is a lake on one side of the house, the back side of the house, and about, I don't know, 10 feet from our deck. And then on the front side is the San Joaquin River. So everything rusts here super fast. It's not as bad as the ocean, but it's pretty bad. So I have to prime it right away so it won't flash rust. But that's so far what I've got. Morning. Well, this morning I masked it all off and rolled on the rubberized roofing and it started getting a little bit warm and I don't know if you can see it in here but there's little fuzzies because it's rolled on I'm going to put another coat on it but uh, this is flex seal I built the tiny house and I did inside the shower all the wall ceiling and floor with flex seal and it came out really well but it looks pretty good. I'm going to put another coat on it just to make sure nothing bleeds through and it'll smooth out some of the fuzzies. Um, I tried a textured roller and it wasn't putting it on very well at all. So I got a 3 8 smooth roller. Well, the first mistake is I didn't run some masking tape all around the roller itself just to get any loose fuzzies off. But I think this is because of the temperature uh, of the sun hitting this metal. It just starts, you know, ragging up, drying a little bit. But it really does look good and it matches the color of the fenders. So I have to wait 24 hours before I can recoat. So that's an easy day today. I decided to take the masking off and remask for the second coat. That way I don't have to worry about trying to cut along the trim, which usually turns out into a fiasco, with, especially with this Flex Seal rubberized stuff. But it came out okay. I'm pretty happy. It looks a lot better with the masking off. I'm kind of doing it bass backwards because you should do the high stuff first and the lower stuff later so any spills don't land on your finished work. But I had to wait over a week to get this flex seal. But it looks a lot better than I thought. There you go.